Hello and welcome. This is Kyle, also known as Champion Arch True Magic Step Aside UDX9. While Kyle and I are warming up, I'd like to talk a little about healing. Healing is fundamental to every AKC obedience class. In my estimation, you bet, healing sets the tone for a team's entire performance. During healing, the team is supposed to be together and work together. And as if that isn't enough, the team must also demonstrate smoothness and naturalness. In other words, the team must move in harmony. Let's be honest, okay? A dog that is resisting the leash and one that is literally being dragged around the ring is not healing. A dog that is sniffing the ground and sort of, kind of, following in the handler's footsteps, five feet behind, that dog is not healing either. This is a picture that falls way short of any hint of teamwork. A dog that is in proper heel position and that keeps that position during the healing exercise is showing teamwork. I also want to remind you to know the heel pattern, and I mean know it. Just don't familiarize yourself with it. Know it. Visualizing it is not enough. Look, if I close my eyes, I can actually see myself and feel myself flying around this room like Tinkerbell. But I can't do it. I can't fly in reality. Sure, you may be able to visualize the healing pattern, but performing it is something else entirely. So watch the heel pattern. Then go someplace and practice walking it out. Walk it out until you know that when you go in the ring, you can perform it comfortably and smoothly. A bonus to knowing the healing pattern is that you can give more of yourself to your dog, okay? You can focus on your dog. You don't have to concentrate on the judge's orders. You already know what those are gonna be. All you'll have to do is execute the order when the judge gives it. Your concentration will be on your dog and also on being the leader, the leader your dog so desperately needs when you're in the ring. Later in this video, I'll demonstrate a couple possible heel patterns that are in AKC obedience rings. You can pick one, practice it alone, then perform it with your dog. I think you'll be astounded by the results. Kyle and I are ready now, so let's first look at each of the parts AKC requires a judge to include in any given heel pattern. So let's look now at what healing is all about. Good boy, Kyle. What a man. Yay for you, and away we go. The setup for any exercise is crucial. Always, always be absolutely sure that your dog has focused attention before ever telling the judge that you are ready. Basic to every heel pattern is the order forward and halt. The dog should glide into the sit as the handler halts. This is the essence of teamwork. Now watch from the front as Kyle glides into the sit. His sit is not an afterthought. Every heel pattern must include at least one right turn. The right turn should be a 90 degree turn. The dog should not be wide, lag, bump, or forge during this turn. The turn should be performed in unison as if the dog and handler are one. Any healing pattern must also include at least one left turn. The left turn is simply a mirror image of the right turn. Again, it should be a 90 degree turn and should exhibit teamwork in its execution. Every heel pattern will also include at least one about turn, which is a 180 degree turn. Presently in AKC obedience, all about turns must be right about turns. 
About turns should be performed smoothly and comfortably and as a team. One and only one slow order will be given during the healing pattern. The team must make a noticeable deceleration in their pace and resume a normal pace on the judge's order. Conversely, the fast must demonstrate an acceleration in the pace. As with the slow, there is only one fast given in any healing pattern. The transition back to a normal pace should be smooth and executed in unison. These are the basic elements then that make up any given healing pattern. Kyle and I are now going to put the parts together to show you a full pattern. Remember, a pattern can only have one fast and one slow, but everything else can be repeated. Here's the fast, right turn, about turn, slow. Normal, about, and a halt. Forward, right turn, halt. Exercise finished. I am now going to demonstrate two different healing patterns with no dog. As I suggested at the start of this video, it would be to your advantage for you to practice each of these patterns without your dog. Repeat the pattern two or three times, then get your dog and perform the entire healing pattern as a team. You'll be glad you did. Here Catherine's doing the slow, normal, about, halt, forward right turn, fast, normal, about, halt, exercise finished. Healing pattern number two, forward and fast, normal, left turn, halt, forward, about, right turn, slow, normal, right turn, halt, exercise finished. Healing should be a joy. Think of healing like ballroom dancing. You have a partner and there are specific maneuvers that must be performed. These would be the turns, the slow, the fast, etc. These maneuvers comprise a routine, which would be the healing pattern itself. Naturally, timing and rhythm are essential elements as well, all of which contribute to the overall performance. Personally, I love healing with my dogs. To me, healing is the epitome of teamwork and harmony. Kyle and I want to wish you great success in your obedience goals and the truly unique pleasure of healing as a team.